Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and this is a bit of an emergency video. I did not expect to be uploading again this week, but we need to talk about the crazy Pokemon trading card news that dropped the other day. Walmart and Target, two of the biggest retailers on the planet, are no longer going to be selling Pokemon cards in stores because of the ridiculous demand and ridiculous threats that have been made on employees for not producing the card packs when consumers wanted them. This is ridiculous, so let's just jump straight into this. So if you've been following the Pokemon scene for the last couple months, you will know that trading cards, the trading card game, has become incredibly popular all of a sudden, and it's back in the mainstream. A lot of online streamers and YouTubers are making trading card opening videos, they're buying up as many packs as possible, they're trying to complete some of the newest sets, and for a lot of people, they're finding their old Pokemon cards, or even their new ones, and they're getting them raided. You can basically, if you did not know, get trading cards and other physical memorabilia raided by this ratings board company, and it rates the quality and preservation of your card on a scale. So a lot of people have been buying up Pokemon cards and getting them raided, and been selling them on the secondary market for a ton of money. This was all started because a couple YouTubers, back when the pandemic was still really raging last year, started opening up Pokemon cards. YouTubers like Logan Paul, for example, started opening up old original base set Pokemon card packs online and it blew up. The value of these cards began to go up, the demand for these cards, both old and new, began to grow, and the online presence of these cards, whether it was on social media or on YouTube, exploded. And since then, we've kind of hit a weird point in the marketplace to where it's very difficult to find Pokemon cards at your local GameStop, Target, Walmart, um, local, uh, uh, like a stop and shop or a, a produce store, which will sometimes sell trading cards right at the checkout. These kind of places, like your, your geek or your nerdy kind of store where you can usually buy like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all of that stuff. You can't find them anywhere. Any of the new releases you can't find, the production issues got so bad either near the beginning of this year or right at the end of last year to where the Pokemon company said that they were going to be producing more copies of the cards. That, I can't recall another moment where that's ever happened. And it's become a big phenomenon. A lot of uh, Pokemon YouTubers, if you guys watch anybody else, have been doing pack opening streams. They've been reacting to rare pulls that they get. There's an entire system to where you can weigh packs of Pokemon cards, and depending on the differentiation of the weight of those card packs, you can tell if you're gonna get a holographic or a more rare Pokemon card in them. There's a whole science to it. It's incredibly fascinating. It's something that Growing up, I collected Pokemon cards, obviously, me and my friends traded them. Uh, there's a story that I can recall back in second grade where there was a Pokemon card thief on the playground. You ended up being one of my close friends now, uh, was stealing people's Pokemon cards back then. So I've been around Pokemon cards, but as I've gotten older, I've focused more on the video games specifically. So when cards became more popular last year, me and some friends picked up some packs. We're like, this is cool, let's buy them. So you could see that there was this cultural growth, this cultural appeal to collecting the Pokemon cards again. And for those of you who do not know the Pokemon trading card game, there's the collecting aspect to it, there's also the battling aspect. There's a whole competitive metagame within the Pokemon cards, and it's incredibly popular, but it's a cultural moment right now. How many people are specifically buying these cards a, for nostalgia purposes, because they're like, this was my childhood, and when we were in the midst of COVID-19 last year, even though we are still dealing with it today, when everyone was locked in their homes last year, a lot of old nostalgic things became very popular again. Pokemon cards became popular. Avatar Lost Airbender, a lot of our childhoods, which I've made some videos on, has become quite popular. A lot of old retro stuff has gotten into the news. Pokemon cards did this. And we've gotten to a weird point with these cards. Yesterday, Target at first and then Walmart later on announced that they were no longer going to be selling Pokemon card packs in their retail stores. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can still buy them from their online website from Walmarts and Targets, but in retail stores, in brick, uh, brick and mortar stores, which I'm sure are by all of you guys, unless you live in a country that does not have Target, I believe Walmart's pretty much international, um, they're not going to be selling cards anymore. That's insane. 
I, some of my fondest memories as a child are running into my local Target and there was two different areas, one near the front of the store and one back by the toys where you could find all of the trading cards. You could find the Pokemon cards, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic the Gathering, baseball cards, football cards, hockey cards, all the different trading cards that kids enjoyed collecting. There were tech decks there usually as well. Sometimes they tried to sell the Beyblades there at the same time. It was like the geeky small things. That was the section. And it was great. Buying new Pokemon Diamond and Pearl trading card game packs is such a vivid part of my childhood. And it's crazy to me that we've gotten to a point where one, the demand is so high for Pokemon cards that a lot of these stores just don't have them in stock. And two, Target and Walmart have been saying that some of their employees that work at these stores have been getting harassed, they've been getting yelled at by customers, they've been getting verbally accosted by people who are upset that the Pokemon cards are not in stock, or maybe that they saw that there were Pokemon cards on the website, maybe the website said, because a lot of these um, a lot of these websites will tell you if it's in your local store when you go get upset that it said so on their website that they had them in stock and they went and they weren't there and they're seeing all these people opening them and it's become this massive story to the point where Walmart and Target are concerned for their employees safety and are no longer going to be selling them there was a story a couple weeks ago that was similar to this in that Sometimes when you go to buy a video game or a movie at a store, they have it in like this kind of like cage. Some stores started putting their Pokemon card packs in cages because people were stealing them or ripping into them to find the rare cards and then leaving them. That's how crazy this market has turned because of the immense resurgence in popularity of the card game. It's ridiculous and it's crazy to me. First of all, if you're scalping Pokemon cards, you need to find a better hobby. If you're scalping anything, whether it's video game consoles, Funko Pops, um, there's uh, stories of people scalping books on eBay and other websites, other third-party sellers. Stop. Why do you? Why are you ruining the fun? These are mass-produced things. Everyone's going to get it at some point. You don't have to just scalp this and make an incredible profit. It's disgusting. It's sleazy. It's abusive of the internet. It's abusive of free market economics. It's... It's awful. If you do that, unsubscribe from this channel. Stop watching, because I don't like you, even though I do appreciate the views and the likes. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy that the demand has gotten so high. I've, I bought one pack last year when the growth began, but people are buying up hundreds and hundreds of packs, opening them up on streams, all of this. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is, it's a ridiculous story. It's a ridiculous time for Pokemon cards. And it's just something that I felt I wanted to talk about, because it's, it's something you don't hear a lot. But what do you guys think? Do you collect Pokemon cards still? Uh, did you get back into it last year with the craze? Have you been watching YouTubers open up packs in the last couple months? Because I know I've tuned into a couple of those streams occasionally. It's it's fun to watch people's reactions. They're essentially real life loot boxes, Pokemon cards are. So this craze is ridiculous. Have you bought Pokemon cards from a local store recently? Have you been able to find them? I would love to hear your experiences with the trading card game in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this where it's Pokemon adjacent, it's not the video games, be sure to let me know. I'd be happy to talk about it. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button. It really does a ton to support the channel and support me making content moving forward. We're about to hit summer vacation, so videos are going to be churned out at the maximum. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.